Ticks, welcome back to the channel. We're back out on Lake Texoma today. Third day of practice and the fishing has been super tough for me. Down at a totally different part of the lake today, down by the dam. And I'm hoping that things are gonna be a little bit better today. It's supposed to be clear water down here. It's supposed to be some small mouth, large mouth, maybe some spots, I'm not exactly sure. But we're going fishing and hopefully we can start to get a pattern going because I have nothing to go on right now. Big thank you to all the sponsors for sponsoring my Lake Texoma tournament content. GCI Outdoors, Six Sense Fishing, Waterland Sunglasses, and Do It Molds. Make sure to check out the links and stuff like that down in the description and make sure to support those companies because if it wasn't for them and their sponsorship, I would not be out here getting to do what I love to do, which is fish. So we're gonna go out on Lake Texoma today and hopefully catch some fish and put some pieces of the puzzle together so we can have a good tournament. But enough talking, let's get into it. Let's go fish. Got one on the hair jig. I don't know what kind of fish it is, but we caught one. Oh, we got a little smally. Little smally on the hair jig. There we go. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Hair jig fish. Right down on the rocks. The old hair jig just reeling it down there along the bottom with those rocks. Coming into this little cut and uh, ate it. It was down in those rocks though. And it was probably, I don't know, 10 foot, 15 foot deep. Made this hair jig specifically for this trip for conditions that are as tough as that they are. And uh, hopefully I can get another one and feel like I can keep doing this and maybe just cover a lot of water and uh, get, you know, five, five bites. Well, we're finally on the board with something halfway decent. I mean, a two pounder right now for me is is feeling, feeling pretty good. It's a step in the right direction. Also cool that I caught it on something that I make myself, which is which is always kind of cool. Um, gonna kind of just keep doing that. I'd like to see if I can get at least another bite doing that because then I'll feel like it's something I can just kind of run around and maybe do, just put the trolling motor down and go. Um, so we'll just have to see, but uh, still got plenty of day left to uh, try to see what we can come up with. And I'm looking on my graph right now and I got this school of fish down there and probably like 30 foot of water. So I don't know, this is, there's fish everywhere but I can't seem to get them to bite other than a couple here and there. This isn't a bass. That's not a bass. I don't know what these things are called, but they're not bass. I just don't want to lose my hair jig.
my gosh. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at that thing. Snagged it right in the fin. Look at that. How insane is that? Well, I thought I might have been on to something, but uh, maybe I wasn't. <laughs> the grind continues. Um, I'm gonna go find some different stuff. Um, I do like this area down here. The water's cleaner, and it just feels more like stuff I know how to fish. Uh, but the fish just still don't want to cooperate, so it's still a struggle. Still not getting enough bites to really feel like I know what to do or what options I really have to do. Um, but I'm gonna go try to find some uh, smaller rock. Um, a lot of times with what I'm used to, the smallies like to be on that smaller, like bo little boulder size rock. So we're gonna go try to look for some of that, throw that hair jig around, throw the net rig, stuff like that. And uh, just see if we can start getting some bites. So at least I have some areas to go to during the tournament. And then if they're not eating the stuff that I get bit on today, then at least I can switch it up and the fish should be in those areas or at least were in those areas. But right now I got nothing. So this place is fishing brutal. Everyone that I've talked to has been having a hard time catching fish. Um, I don't know what to do. I've fished all over this lake. I've thrown different stuff, clear water, looking for some dirtier water. I have no consistency whatsoever. It's really frustrating. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like you fish super hard and I pretty much have nothing to show for it. And I got bit kind of doing this with the hair jig earlier and I'm hoping that maybe I can find some of this wind protected area and uh, find some of these fish, you know, coming in from the main lake points with this gravel on it and stuff like that. And I don't know, we'll find out, but not holding my breath considering how everything's been going so far. There's one. There's one. There we go, fish. This guy's cold. Look at that. Cold fish. Oh, we finally got another one. Look at that, double hooked it. Eating crawdad. Look at that red lips. Well, we finally got another fish in the boat. I don't even know if it was a keeper or not. And I'm surprised that that fish, I mean, I don't know that I'm surprised because the water's cold and that fish was cold. And it was right up on a launch ramp with some riprap right along the side of it and uh fish just smoked this thing had both hooks and uh i wish that was something i felt like i could replicate i mean there's tons of lot boat ramps all over the lake but i don't know that there's a pattern there i could be wrong it's just tough because i don't really know what to do because that bite is super random. I'm sure that fish was just up stunning himself. But uh, we'll just keep fishing shallow along all these rocks and see if we can't get another bite or two and see if these just real tied up onto the bank. We'll find out. There's another one. I caught one. Flat 75 fish, stay on. Stay on there, fish. 
Uh, we don't want that guy. I got excited for that one, I'm not gonna lie. I thought that was a good fish and wrong kind. I don't even know what that is. If you guys know what kind of fish that is, make sure to comment down below what that is. It's the same thing as that um, one I caught on the hair jig earlier today. And I don't know what they are. They're kind of gross. It definitely kind of has like a slime on it. That's for sure. So comment if you know what the name of that fish is. So I'm back at the house and I'm trying to reflect on how practice has gone so far to figure out what I want to do for my final day. And I don't know. I haven't got enough bites to really feel like there's anything I can go and do that's going to expand on anything. I haven't got enough bites to kind of have areas that I want to go learn better. Um, I'm kind of like torn between just going back to areas that I've already fished to see if I can figure something out and try to eliminate, you know, things that I've already done there. Or if I need to run to new areas and just check different stuff because I just haven't ran into them yet. Um, those are both viable options. Um, I don't think it's necessarily a bait selection thing or not. I, I think the reaction bite's kind of tough because um, even the people that I'm staying with are saying that the reaction bite's not really good for them. Um, I have caught, um, I did catch one on a crankbait today, but I don't know if that's going to really be a factor come tournament time because those fish probably came went up to the bank and we're sunning at the end of the day and when I caught that fish it would have been after the tournament would have been over anyway for that day so I, I don't know if that's going to play or not but I definitely have one tied on to throw tomorrow um, but we'll see how things go and you know still got one more day to try to figure things out and put a plan together for tournament day so uh, thanks thanks for watching guys and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and uh, make sure to check out the links down in the description and a big thank you to GCI Outdoor, Sixth Sense, Waterland, Fishing, and Do It Molds for sponsoring all my content out here at Lake Texoma. So I will see you guys next time. See ya.